Hi there, um, just a video to answer another question on the CAM support forum. Um, the user's trying to um, parallel surface just this top face and stop the tool from dropping down the edge. Um, I've, the setup has included the entire model and there's uh, one, mil, one mil of stock on the top. The model's been defined um, and selected here. Um, and then when it comes to setting up the parallel um, strategy, I've just used a 10mm ball mill. Okay. Now, as far as geometry selection is concerned, if I just clear all this lot out, um, by default it's set to silhouette, which is, as you can see from the tooltip, is going to encompass the entire model. But I only want to machine the top angle, um, the angled face. And this is at a slight angle here, and you can see that when I look at it in the elevation view. So, the machine and boundary. Um, I want to be this top face or this this edge and as you can see it's just flattened that down to match the XY plane as set in the job setup um, and I want to make sure that I've got tool centers on boundary so the tool can't the tool center can't go outside of that in any way and therefore drop down the edge of the part you can also turn off contact point boundary here although that won't actually make any difference um, and that's that's pretty much it so um, if we check the heights, um, we could also restrict it to a certain extent with heights, but um, that's not going to be the case here. And the pass is I've just set to 90 degree um, pass direction with a step over of one millimeter. I'm allowing them it to go um, to surface backwards and forwards in both directions here. So it'll be climb milling, conventional milling, climb milling, conventional milling, and then um, yeah, full retraction. So that's that's the entire setup. And there we have it. It's as simple as that. I hope this video has helped, and I'll see you again next time. Cheers. Bye.